it's me, Extravite. I'll be showing you how to install Reshade into Roblox. So first of all, you're gonna want to head over to the site, extravite.dev. So this is an open source project by me, Extravi, and you can view the source code for everything online, GitHub, things like that. Just the entire project is online if you want to compile it yourself or if you want to take a sneak peek at the source code if you're interested. That you can find right here and for the website, the website source code's here and the setup file source code is here if you're interested. And yeah, pretty much I'll just be showing you how to install it. So you're going to want to hit download and just save it. It's pretty basic. You just save the file, then you click on it, you double click on this, you can drag the setup file to your desktop. You can close it to that, uh, you can minimize that, then all you got to do is run the setup file. Once that's done, you're just going to hit next, accept the terms and conditions, it's just an MIT license if you're interested. You can hit next, install, and it's going to pull all the latest shader files from Reshade from GitHub. Now, this is optional, you don't have to do this, but I, appreci I appreciate it because you join my Discord server and alongside with that, you subscribe to my channel, and I, I would really appreciate that. And obviously, I cannot subscribe to myself. And then there's my Discord server. Uh, so yeah, once you've done that, it's pretty much installed. All you gotta do is join a game and activate the effects, the shaders, the menu. It's pretty simple. It's pretty self-explanatory. And I'll also show you how to turn off the shaders if it's getting annoying. So once you're in game, you're gonna see a pop-up on this, uh, like on the top left corner that says press F8 to start the tutorial. Let's say you're on keyboard and on a, like a computer, right? A laptop and F8's not working. Try function F8, uh, like hold down function and F8. If that doesn't work, hold down shift and F8. But for me, F8 works just fine. Uh, you're, you're gonna basically want to skip the tutorial. You don't need that. And then from here, you can choose the preset of your choice. I'm going to choose Extravase Reshade Preset Community Ultra because I personally like that the most. So now you can press F8 or whatever I said before previously to close the menu. The same thing you use to open it, you use that to close it. So now the effects are applied in game, but how do you turn it off? Oh, oh wait. I forgot something. Let's say it's not working properly. Forget to like turn your graphics off from automatic and set this to graphics 10 or 8. They will both work either way regardless. Graphics 9 does not work though properly with the shaders. So I would use graphics 8 or graphics 10 for the best obvious like visual result. Now to turn off the effects in game you're going to want to press F7 on your keyboard and that will turn off the reshade. But because I want to use it in this case, I'm going to use, I'm going to turn it back on. And yeah, it's really up to you. These are a lot more optimized than the previous uh, presets and things like that. So that's pretty much there is all to mention for this video. I would appreciate it if you like, subscribe, things like that, obviously the usual. And uh, check out my Discord server and my website because, yeah, it, my website's pretty cool. I did spend some time on it. And I, I hope to see you. You can message me on Discord. We can talk about anything. I'm fine with that. Um, see you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next